Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you two possible ways to install and run Windows 10 from a USB flash drive or some other USB storage medium like SSD or even traditional mechanical hard drive. Now, this is different from making a bootable Windows USB installation medium, which I had demonstrated in a previous tutorial. If that is what you are looking for, I will leave a link to that tutorial down in the video description. What I'm about to show in this tutorial is how to actually install Windows on a USB device such that after the installation, you are able to connect this USB device to a laptop or desktop and boot up a full running Windows off of such USB device. It doesn't matter if such computer has no hard drive or has no Windows installed to the hard drive. This is sometimes called live Windows USB flash drive or portable Windows or whatever you choose to call it. This solution could come in handy if you want to test a PC or check the specs of a PC or multiple PCs without having to install Windows across each and every one of them. Or if you just want to have your own Windows to run from a public PC, then this could be the way to go. And with that said, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so first you want to start optimizing for speed from the very onset and to that I will advise that you try to use the faster USB drives. Here I'll be using this 32GB Sony USB 3.1 flash drive. You can also use a USB 3.0 if that's what you already have. But a USB 2.0 might just be too slow for this process. If you are yet to purchase a USB drive for this, then you can check the link in the description for recommended USB flash drives. Needless to say, the faster the better. Alternatively, if portability in terms of size is not such an issue for you, then you should consider using an SSD for this process. A 32GB or 64GB SSD is more than enough for this. All you need in addition is a USB SATA adapter cable like this. The second consideration is the USB port to connect to on the laptop. Here I will advise you always use the USB 3.0 port whenever possible as this would improve overall speed of the entire process significantly. And with that said, the first method will involve the use of a third-party application and a Windows 10 ISO file. The most common and efficient third-party app for this is the win to usb to go creator. I will leave a link to the download page of this tool down in the video description. You could also search it directly on Google. Click on the link from easyuefi.com and it should take you to this download page right here. This app has both the free and paid versions. The free version of course has some limitations compared to the paid versions as you can see on this page. For instance, with a free version, you won't be able to install the Pro editions of Windows 10. There are claims that it would work with older builds of Windows 10 Pro editions such as build 1703 but I haven't tested that. However, for the more recent Windows 10 builds like the 1903 which is the latest build at this time or even the 2018 builds like the 1809 and 1803, you are only able to install the home editions using the free version of this application. So here we are going to be using the free version of the app and installing Windows 10 Home Edition. If you are yet to make a Windows 10 ISO file, I have made a tutorial to help you with that. I will leave the link down in the video description. With your ISO file already created and saved to a known location on your computer, let's go ahead and download the Win2 USB application. It's a fairly lightweight application, just about 5.5 MB in size, so it should download pretty quickly. After downloading, simply run by double clicking. Here select your preferred language and hit OK. Accept the license terms and hit Next. Leave the options as default and hit Next. Next. You can choose to create a desktop shortcut, hit Next. And then install. After the installation, launch the application. Here I will just double click from the desktop shortcut I created. A page like this should pop up. Here simply click on this browse icon and then navigate to the location where you saved your Windows 10 ISO file. Double click on it. And then you should have all the versions and architectures of Windows 10 that is contained in your ISO file. Again, remember that the free version doesn't support Windows 10 Pro Edition. So I will select the home edition here and hit next. On this next window, it will ask you to select the destination disk. Here I will select my USB stick. 
It then asks for the partition scheme you want to use. Here with the free edition, you can only choose between the MBR for BIOS and then GPT for UEFI. The third option is only available with the paid version of this tool. So here I will select the MBR option. It also reminds you that the data on the USB will be lost. Will you want to continue? Here I will hit yes. It then begins to format my USB stick. After that, you should have a page like this asking for the installation mode you wish to use. Here I will select legacy mode and hit next. It then begins the installation process. Now this can take some really long time, longer than normal Windows installation, and that's because we're using a USB here. If you have a faster USB, then you can expect the process to go a bit faster for you. Now sometimes you are going to have this stock on 0% for pretty long time. This happens quite a lot. It doesn't mean the process is not progressing. It's just that for some reason the app is not able to show the progress in real time. I've seen this jump from 0 to 100% after a long delay. So just be patient and wait for the process to complete. And of course, you can keep working on your computer while that happens. After the installation, you should have this page saying successful installation. And when you check your USB flash drive from the computer folder, you should have all these Windows files on it. And with that, your Windows Live USB is ready for use. Now eject the USB. and attach it to any computer you wish to run it on. Again, always use the USB 3.0 ports whenever possible. It always helps with speed. Now set the BIOS to boot from the USB or select the one-time boot device option to USB and then wait for Windows to load accordingly. The second method would be to use an SSD and a SATA to USB adapter like this. I will leave a link to this adapter in the description. Now unlike the mechanical hard disks that tend to be bulkier and much more fragile, SSDs are much lighter and can resist a lot more physical pressure than mechanical hard disks, not to mention the performance improvement in terms of speed. As such, using an SSD to make a portable Windows for use over USBs could be much more efficient than using a USB drive. In addition, I find it to be a lot faster in terms of the whole time needed for the process. It does not require any third-party application. It works with any version of Windows 10 ISO you might want to use, talking about the Home or Pro editions, later or older builds, it doesn't really matter. And it's relatively easy to do. First, you will need to insert the SSD to the SATA connector of the PC you want to use for the process. Then, install a fresh copy of Windows to the SSD. Detach the SSD from the SATA connector. And obtain a USB SATA adapter cable like this. And then you are good to go. With that, you now have a portable live Windows 10 that can be used over USB connectors across different computers. Now, remember to set the BIOS of the target PC to boot from the USB. This process would differ depending on your PC make and model. But in any case, try to get into your BIOS settings to change the boot priority order. You can also use the one-time boot device selection menu to boot from the USB device, and that should immediately load up your Windows.
And that is it for this tutorial. I will leave all relevant links down in the video description. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.